Hi, my name is Tamara Western, and I'm one of the professors developing Biology 301 for the fall. I know a lot of you are asking, how is it possible to do a cell and molecular lab course remotely? The answer, of course, is to think outside of the box and be creative, which are critical aspects of being a scientist. So we asked ourselves, what is the real point of our course anyway? Learning how to use a micropipette is one thing, and certainly not something that we can easily replicate remotely, but there is a lot more to doing molecular biology than moving tiny quantities of liquids between little tubes. In fact, because we're working with molecules and cells that are smaller than the eye can see, most measurements in molecular biology are done indirectly, and our results come in the form of graphs and photographs that need to be interpreted. Then, of course, once results are analyzed, they need to be communicated to fellow scientists and the greater population. So, how can we run a cell and molecular biology lab course remotely? We can focus on the following questions. What is happening at the cellular molecular level? What hypotheses can I generate based on preliminary data and reading of the literature? How can we investigate it? What techniques do we need to use? What samples do I use? How can I be confident that my experiment worked? What do my results mean? How does this compare to what is currently known or not known in the scientific literature? What do I need to do next to follow up on my results? In Biology 301 this fall, we will give students an opportunity to answer these questions and communicate their results through a variety of activities. For example, students will perform immersive case study-based simulations to introduce them to experimental techniques. Students will design experiments that will be carried out by lab staff and then analyze their own results. Students will work on protocol development and or troubleshooting of experiments that have failed in the past. And students will work in mentored teams to do choose-your-own-adventure case studies based on publicly available data and open science initiatives. So, Biology 301 this fall will continue to be inquiry-based, interactive, authentic, and fun. Finally, feel free to reach out to me or the other Biology 301 instructors with any questions you may have. See you in September!